In politics, we have some very powerful individuals, some very powerful men particularly, who feel they have liberty to do almost anything and frankly, they need to be corrected. In Ukraine, we have today an incident on that bridge thrusting out from Russia into the Crimea. Putin's pillar, it's been called, and it went up in flames, that symbol of his authority, compromised. It may be a false flag effort that gives him an opportunity to retaliate and to rain down the missile storm that I was told was threatened about two weeks ago. My sources in the Kremlin were really quite graphic about what Mr Putin planned, given half an opportunity. This may indeed be the opportunity that he has manufactured or that he was looking for or waiting for. There are also stories that this was something done by the Ukrainian special forces. I have no idea. I can't know. I don't know about the evidence. And that's really the story, that's really the issue that joins this story with the other, because in Birmingham, we've got this extraordinarily sordid story about Connor Burns, drunk at a bar, fondling a man's thighs. That is indeed why he lost the whip. That is indeed why he's lost his job and his reputation. And Liz Truss seems to have acted very quickly because, on the one hand, she must be aware by now that she has been pilloried for not acting with any speed and decision in response to Kwasi Kwarteng's inappropriate package of measures put forward in his mini-budget. And she must also know that... Boris Johnson's government was pretty well brought down by the inappropriate behaviour of Chris Pincher. So, thighs are significant. What we don't know is whether the owner of the thighs was a willing participant or not. Apparently, he hasn't come forward to say anything. Maybe we'll find out more in tomorrow's papers. Maybe... He's got a story to tell. Maybe he's annoyed. You know, nobody should be putting their hands on somebody's thighs, male or female, without their encouragement. And saying that you're drunk is not a good enough excuse. However, it does seem an extraordinary story to be paralleling to the story of a war in Ukraine which is being ratcheted up with nuclear weapons being rattled like tin sabres. I'm really sorry that anybody should be assaulted in public. I'm equally sorry that Ukraine is put under such pressure, and that we in the West are not really focused fully on resolving their problems, and that indeed the Conservative Party is unbelievably self-obsessed. We need to be running our country, not running our country aground, we need to be a principled country that is a beacon of hope for the rest of the world. The stories that are coming out about our country are sordid, squalid and shabby in every respect. I am truly ashamed of the Conservative Party at the moment. Truly ashamed. It needs to grow up.